ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय 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 नारायण नमस्कृत नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोतम नरम चरोतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर तथो जय मुदीर नष्ट प्रायशु अभद्रेशु नष्ट प्रायशु अभद्रेशु नित्यम भागवत सेवया नित्यम भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्टिकी भक्तिर्भवती नैष्टिकी रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम Canto six, chapter nineteen, text number fourteen to sixteen. 
Selatan Gusai, Bro. Ya, yeah, Bro. Ya. Yeah. Just begin start with a shloka. I am coming. I am opening in my this thing uh, for means hmm. this thing mobile. I am just hearing. I will continue. Just start. I will continue. Yeah. Yada yuvam trilokasya varudau parameshthinau tadama uttama sloka. Santu Satya Mahashushaha. Translation by His Divine Grace. Esi Bhaktivyan Swam Srilpapad. You are both the Supreme Rulers and the Benedictors of the Three Worlds. Therefore, my Lord, Uttama Sloka, may my ambitions be fulfilled by your grace. ट्रांसलेशन श्री सुखदेव गोस्वामी कंटिन्यूड दस one should worship lord vishnu who is known as srinivasa along with mother lakshmi the goddess of fortune by offering prayers according to the process mentioned above after removing all the paraphernalia of worship one should offer them water to wash their hands and mouths and then one should worship them again थेफ्टर विथ डिवोशन अंड ह्यूमिटी वन शुड ऑफर प्रेयर्स टू द लॉर्ड अंड मदर लक्ष्मी then one should smell the remnants of the food offered and then again worship the lord and lakshmi ji hari krishna hari krishna thank you babu om agyana timirandasya gyanan jana shalaha kaya chakshur militam yena tasmay shri gurave namaha shri chaitanya manobhishtam sthapitam yena bhutale swayam rupa kadamayam ददाति हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगतपते नमो विष्णु पादाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतल श्रीमते भक्ति स्वरूप दामोदर स्वामी नीति नामिने नम सद्भक्ते मणिपुर भाव च प्रभुपाद सत्वाणी प्रचार निरते हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिय कांतराधा कांत नमस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी विशुधानुषिते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे I'd like to welcome all the participants of Shrimad Bhagavatam, the transcendental literature, showing the light, giving enlightenment to the people of Kali Yuga. Text number fourteen, as our Prabhu has read. So, in this the translation, it comes. We are both the supreme rulers and benedictors of the three worlds. therefore my lord uttama shloka may my ambitions be fulfilled by your grace so in this shloka uh, you are saying that you are the ruler of the three worlds no three worlds swarga loka bhu loka earth planet and patal loka this creation 
this material creation which is done the lord is a benedictor of these all the three worlds for all the living entities he is the prime benedictor and he is the ruler also because he has done the creation so ultimately he is the ruler of this controller of these three worlds so the lord is um, uh, addressed or in so many different um, words and uh, different names according to the qualities he has like here he said uttama shloka the lord is glorified in so many different um, you know verses and uh, beautiful words so uttama uttama means topmost topmost words he is glorified mm-hmm. topmost uttama shloka so and all the ambitions of the living soul all the ambitions which are um which are in accordance with the scriptures or which are in favorable to his uh, spiritual life conducive to his life so the lord fulfills his ambitions by the uh, by his getting pleased by the devotion of the living entity so lord fulfills his ambitions so that is the grace the lord does his grace his benediction his mercy that the uh, lord the living entity receives from the lord next verse we go text number 15 sukadev goswami he says thus one should worship lord vishnu who is known as srinivas along with mother lakshmi the god is of fortune by offering prayers according to the process mentioned above so here the process sukadev goswami he mentions the pro- mentions the process by which uh, uh, a human being he should worship the lord so this is the proper vidhi given so these are the bona fide and the proper authoritative uh, process which are given by which by following which the living entity a human being becomes happy and peaceful in this world and ultimately he after leaving his body he goes back to his original place his original home so the lord is known as srinivas srinivas is um, if you uh, separate the word sri sri is god is lakshmi and nivas is home abode so he is the abode he is the abode of lakshmi ji lord srinivas so many beautiful names the lord has madhusudan govinda madhav just by reciting you feel so pleased one feels very pleased and it purifies his existence the transcendental name of the lord so these names of the lord are not ordinary the hari krishna and rama every day a devotee chants the name of the lord these words are not ordinary that's why one should very carefully and attentively try to hear the words just hearing these words it will make the effect it will change the consciousness it will purify the consciousness it will so many so many benefits a person gets by chanting this holy name many many there are there is one we can say you know continuously for of the about the holy name of the glories about the benefits and about the effects the techniques so many things are there you can go on so sukadev so goswami says that one should worship lord vishnu along with mother lakshmi so as we heard in the previous classes also that lakshmi ji if she is worship alone then she is also known as sanchala one name of lakshmi ji is sanchala she doesn't stay for long in that person's house which is worship alone because her her place her her uh, she resides you know, beside the feet of lord vishnu and there she feels full fulfillment 
So that's why she never wants to leave the uh, lotus feet of Lord Vishnu. So that's why it's mentioned here that one should worship Mother Lakshmi along with Lord Srinivas. After removing all the paraphernalia of worship, one should offer them water to wash their hands and mouths, and then one should worship them again. So this is the process, Vidhi, Pancharatrika Vidhi, and other Vidhis are there, which I mentioned that how one should worship the Lord uh, as a devotee. Every day, those who have deities in their home, they also do these things every day. And now waking up the Lord, washing his feet, hands, mouth, then uh, wiping his mouth and offering foodstuffs, you know, tasty foodstuffs. So the process is there. <clears throat> so by doing that uh, regularly, one feels uh, one feels uh, ecstasy. One feels uh, ecstatic, loving exchanges, uh, reciprocation from the Lord. Text number sixteen. Tatha stuvita stotre na bhakti prahavina chetasa. Thereafter, with devotion and humility, one should offer prayers to the Lord and Mother Lakshmi. Then one should smell the remnants of the food offered and then again worship the Lord and Lakshmi Ji. So here, uh, this word, these points are extremely very important for a practitioner or for a devotee in any stage of life. What is the translation? This shloka, Tata Stivita Stotrena. Bhakti Prahavina Chetasa, with devotion, thereafter with devotion and humility, one should offer prayers to the Lord. So these two aspects are utmost importance uh, for a person if he wants to progress and advance spiritually. Devotion, devotion is needed. So until a person doesn't acquire devotion, and how does he get devotion? By by practicing, practicing means to hearing to hear these uh, bona fide scriptures, Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charitam, Rit Bhakti Sam Sindhu, and unlimited uh, scriptures are provided to us by our Acharyas, Goswamis. So these are the initial basic scriptures that one should you know, read. The Bhagavad Gita, utmost importance, and Bhagavatam, then Chaitanya Charitam, for one's spiritual progress. Because step by step, the process. Uh, are mentioned how when one can advance step by step and in every aspect a person a human being advances systematically one cannot jump to you know, graduation or postgraduate after completing his seventh or eighth standard so there is uh, grades are there standards are there he has to pass one by one and then come to the yes yeah, sometimes some very extraordinary intelligent boys are there so they get distinction or scholarship like that but generally one uh, person has to systematically approach a certain process then he will uh, so what happens he will advance uh, gradually and there won't be any uh, um, obstacle or uh, or uh, going reverse in the process because when one 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 by sometimes by sentiments or like that once jumps to you know, the advanced process then it doesn't last long you know? so this process also is very scientific one has to follow gradually then he can see himself there is no need for anybody to no, to tell him or point out, one can feel within himself that how he's uh, progressing, how he's getting the devotional results, he can feel himself. So devotion is a very prime aspect for the person. So every day reading the scriptures, very uh, attentively, very uh, submissively or in a 
mood of understanding them uh, for one's own advancement. So these scriptures are not for one to make, uh, uh, this knowledge of the scriptures is not one to make uh, very egoistic that I know so much of the Vedas or so much of the scriptures. And that is not the purpose. It is one to make Vasudeva Sarva Miti. In one to know that Lord Vasudev is everything and all. And I am the servant of the servant of his devotee. That the mood one cultivates by his devotion. To make one more humble and more dependent on the mercy of the Lord. So that our, our Shripad Maharaj, he exhibited in his life how one should be completely dependent on the mercy of the Lord. And uh, another aspect is what? Humility. Humility also, um, the pure devotees of the Lord, they exhibit like our um, founding director of our institute, His Holiness Bhakti Sarup Damodar Swami, um, he exhibited this humility and also he got a uh, uh, prize and uh, award for his um, utmost humility, excellence in his uh, hum humble nature. So, so we see humility as a very prime factor. And one can see person, those who are naturally humble, generally such an attitude or such a nature we can see in the village people because they are very simple. They don't have much positions. They don't have big opulence or they live with nature and are hardworking. So we see these things in a very natural way in them, humbleness. And if anyone comes to their home, they are with utmost humility, they, they welcome him, you know, make him sit, give him water, speak nice words, give something to eat. This is very natural for a village person. One who has uh, gone to village, he, may, he will know this. But city life is very difficult. We don't uh, learn this thing. The mother and father also don't teach these things to their children. And neither the teacher in the school or college, they teach these things. So these things we learn from the Vedas. So if these teachings are there in life, the moral and ethical values. If the teacher, if, if he gives this education, then the children will exhibit in their dealings, in their attitude. Then one person will not try to pull other down no, to become the executive director or managing chairman of a, a company. So this leg pulling is always there. We see in private companies because always there is competition, competition that is uh, put on by the superiors. So we see this leg pulling, one trying to pull down another and raise a bow and so, and uh, the purpose ultimately comes to, comes to money, one and post. One gets a big post, big name, and a big, uh, big uh, money, big wallet you know, of money. So this thing, so one doesn't uh, loses this humbleness of respecting others or maintaining a good relation with others. And... Uh, Yeah, these things are very much required. Having good friendship with all the living entities. It's not just humbleness teaches everything to a person. If one is humble and he will respect all the living entities, not only human beings, but he will also respect other living entities. He will not kill other animals, you know, just for his own sense gratification. And he will try to love all the living entities knowing that the Lord 
is the father of all the living entities and all the living entities are his brother and sister in that way this uh, uh, mood of humility is very much essential so in that way then one should offer prayers to the lord and mother lakshmi you worship both of them then one should smell the remnants of the food offered and then again worship the lord and lakshmi ji so after the worship with a uh, different paraphernalia one um, then offers uh, food to the lord for his pleasure because the lord is a is the is a great vip in the house most important person so how do you serve a the most important person by giving a seat then um, <clears throat> glorifying worshiping him and then offering food nice foods uh, so in our institution also we learned from our gurudev shripad maharaj that when some big personality a scientist or a professor uh, such celebrity or big personalities of our from this um on this world when they came to our place guru maharaj spoke very pleasantly with them you know asking things from different different scientific aspect and then ultimately offering nice food different varieties of food very sumptuously pre- uh, prepared so the person would be fully satisfied after you no know, after taking the prasad the the mercy of the lord and this prasad has its big effect on any person one once who takes he gets the kripa so that seed of devotion which is there in the heart that tries to that um, that um, starts to fine he gets the mercy of the lord the food tasted by the lord he gets a, he eats the remnants and he advances so here we see all these activities uh which are mentioned mostly what happens these are performed by the women in the house huh? the women so maybe mother or wife so they engage in these activities like worshiping the lord morning the woman the wife in the house she gets up takes bath she cleans the house and offers the lord flowers worships her worships the lord and then offers food so here as you see that uh, in the 16th uh, translation we read that one should smell the remnants of the food offered and then worship so the woman the mother or wife in the home they offer the food to the lord and because the woman uh the food which is offered she prepares she doesn't consume herself first immediately it is offered to the lord and then the remnant uh, is uh, given to the children and the husband you know? and after the husband eats then she takes the food or by the after the husband almost is uh, finishing the food by that time it is she starts eating and also sometimes the husband if she is not he is not able to eat the complete uh, food offered to him then he leaves some of the remnants and the wife she takes the she takes that husband's food so in that way what happens these are exchanges between the husband and wife the loving exchange right? sharing one's food the wife taking the husband's remnants that's a nice loving exchange uh, uh, continues so so many different uh, so many other um, like that exchanges are there between the husband and wife how their love increases between them by different uh, by different uh, you no know, activities and actions so so the wife what she does she removes the prasad from the altar and then she because she can't she she can't she doesn't eat first so she smells the food 
there may be many other reasons but what i understand is she smells the food so she is accepting the the prashadam the mercy of the lord by smelling by not eating because they, her children and and uh, husband they will take so that is how she uh, she uh, honors the prashad by smelling so so these two points the with devotion and humility which i mentioned na yeah, one should offer prayers so this devotion aspect how it is uh, defined in the dictionary devotion is what is mentioned great love for somebody that is uh, defined one point of you know, defined as devotion so devotion is means when if you have great love for somebody and whom we can repose our love totally repose our love on krishna on on the lord on the supreme lord because by completely 100% uh reposing our love on the lord we get 100 times the reciprocation on the lord the lord is always eager to you now give his love to his uh, devotees to all the li- living entities all the human beings is always eager to uh, seeing that when when this human being will you now turn his face towards me you know, take shelter of me so then because there is there is a, a complete satisfaction happiness for the living entity by completely depending on the lord and the second definition is given the act of giving a lot of your time energy etc to somebody that is devotion so this uh, giving a lot of your time so we see and energy so uh, the founder um, no shila prabhupad who has compiled who is uh, given the translation of the bhagavatam acharya he is taught he is taught a practical way how ha uh, in our institution how we can spend our energy and time whatever time we are doing work you no know, activities how we can 24 hours we can uh, devote our time in this activity uh, completely for the lord energy by that is how by our ability whatever ability every human being has an ability somebody is an ability of nicely uh, compiling writing books somebody is the ability of very uh, making uh, delicious recipes uh, cooking art of cooking then uh, different talents one may be a good engineer one may be a good artist one may be may be a, may be a um, pilot uh, flying plane or rocket or jets so or we may be a very good agriculture agriculturist so different abilities a person has so many different abilities so one should uh, by his natural ability by engaging in that proper occupation and by uh getting the reimbursement from the occupation in the form of product or in the form of uh money lakshmi one can engage it in the service of the lord yeah so for the woman it is very easy uh in context when she is a housewife so when she is um, managing the house like keeping the because house is the we put the lord in the center in the house so the lord is the master of the house so the woman she keeps the house clean so the house of the lord is clean then she prepares food you know that food is food is for the lord so that way every direct engagement is for the lord keeping the house clean cooking for the lord worshiping the lord uh, getting um, raw materials or ingredients from the market for the lord 
or yeah in ancient times the women the women also contributed to the in the household you know in the money matter like they were in the ancient times uh, the women they used to do spinning and uh, yarning weaving this uh, hand loom and this thing they had uh, this uh, yarning spinning machine in the house so they also helped the husband in uh, uh, monetarily and uh, and also in agriculture you know after doing the morning cooking finishing the morning cooking then um, the wife she also used to go with the husband and help in the agriculture work so that way the women uh, the women they have a very big role you know in a house in a in a family women has a very very big role because the men they just go out earn money and come home in the evening so that's all in the house they don't have much uh, activity so they bring uh, they come to the house whatever salary they get they hand it over to the wife and she manages the household affairs and everything and uh, the husband um sometimes he helps the children in their uh, education in their uh, helping in their homework in their in their education like that and also doing some um, uh, some um, household outside work no? other things are there so in that way but the women uh, by the women the presence of the women it all, it uh, makes the house very uh sanctified the presence of a woman with a proper nature as per the scriptures like sita devi she is an ideal character of a woman how a woman should lead the house or maintain the household affairs so that way the house can run very peacefully and all the family members they can be happy by everybody engaged in uh, devotional activity of the supreme lord lakshmi narayan so these are the process mentioned for agriyasta how they can engage you know, in activities uh, pertaining to the lord so today is uh, i would like to stop here so another 5 minutes is there for question answer so 5 minutes i would like to read today's the today's the disappearance vakreshwar pandit just few days uh, last month just few days back uh, his appearance uh, went and today is his disappearance so just little bit i will read about him what i missed in the last um, his appearance day and also today is a hera panchami hera panchami is also a very auspicious day so i will also say something few words about that so vakreshwar pandit um, he was present with shriman mahaprabhu when he mahaprabhu did his past times in navadvip and after mahaprabhu accepted sanyas he vakreshwar pandit he accompanied him to jagannath puri so when the lord uh, was residing in puri he also stayed with the lord then puri and uh, as you have heard before also he was a very proficient dancer kirtaniya and uh, he could dance for 3 days continuously non stop for 72 hours actually in his uh, in his original form as a um, original form he is a gopi hmm. he is uh, he tunga vidya one of the um, principal gopis of lord krishna and he appeared in chaitanya mahaprabhu's past times as vakreshwar pandit and uh, as tunga vidya as a gopi tunga vidya she dances for the lord for the lord's pleasure very expert she is one of the expert gopi in uh, art of singing and dancing so that way we see here also in mahaprabhu's past times he could dance for 72 hours continuously and so beautiful dan- dance he used to do that everybody 
uh, from nearby you know they used to gather around and just watch with awe you know how so beautifully he danced and uh, also also uh vakrasha pandit his worshipable deity was shri Ra- shri shri radha kanta the deities are still there in puri and they are still worshiped and uh, they are there in uh, kashi mishra's house hmm. kashi mishra one of also associate of uh, lord chaitanya mahaprabhu so he had these deities in his house whom vakrasha pandit used to worship shri shri radha kanta so this is in uh, Uh, near chaitanya mahaprabhu is gambira so there uh, if one goes to puri he can uh, take the darshan of the deities shishi radha kanta and also jay shishi vakrasha pandit ki jay ho and today also is hera panchami so this in hera panchami it is one of the main rituals observed during jagannath rath yatra and this happens in the gundicha temple and this festival today this hera panchami is exclusively dedicated to goddess lakshmi hera means to see and panchami means the fifth day so on hera panchami uh, goddess lakshmi travels to the gundicha temple to see lord jagannath so it takes after five takes after five days of the rath yatra so during this uh, uh, rath yatra the chariots carrying lord jagannath balabhadra and subhadra they pull from jagannath temple to gundicha temple so here the deities they visit their aunt in gundicha in gundicha temple so lord jagannath promised his wife uh, goddess lakshmi that he would return the next day when he is leaving in the rath to his mosi's house to his aunt's house so he says to goddess lakshmi that i will return the next day but lord jagannath does not return the next day after waiting for five days god is lakshmi then goes to the gundicha temple on a palanquin and sees the ratha of lord jagannath outside gundicha temple who the people who follow the palanquin of god is lakshmi sing the hera panchami song which expresses god is lakshmi's anger so you see it is a beautiful uh, the activity the reciprocation and the pros and the process how the devotees they serve the lord so relishable only a devotee can understand this uh, reciprocation of the lord and his devotees it's so enjoyable and so enjoyable also this so when they are carrying the goddess lakshmi on the palanquin so they are singing this uh, song which is uh, expressing that uh, goddess lakshmi is angry <laughs> that why didn't you return the next day because goddess lakshmi she is not she loves so much the lord that she doesn't like to stay separate from the lord even for a day so at the, at the end of the ritual a small piece of lord jagannath's chariot is broken and goddess lakshmi returns in anger so what happens uh, because the god lord has not returned and he's there inside the gundicha he's not coming out his wife has come out has come there to gundicha temple and she is standing there near the chariot so at the end of the day what is the ritual is that uh, lord has hasn't come out to receive his wife so the devotees they break a part of the ratha you know the uh, god is lakshmi is angry so the part of the ratha is broken and the uh, god is lakshmi she takes that um, the piece of wood from the ratha and she returns back to jagannath temple so this is the significance of hera panchami jay lakshmi devi ki jay hera panchami ki jay so i would like to stop here so anybody have any uh, comment or any clarification or question they can ask to us harish hari krishna prabhu thank you thank you for this wonderful class Thank you. Yeah, respect Maharaj. Please have a seat, Maharaj. Please. Hare Krishna, Dandavat Pranam, Shyam Kishore Prabhu Ji. Dandavat Maharaj, Hare Krishna.
you have very nicely explained everything <clears throat> not uh, any question but very nice class and uh, here we are seeing the name srinivasa very popular in uh, south <laughs> తిరుపతి బాలాజీ టెంపుల్ గోవింద గోవింద శ్రీనివాస గోవింద జస్ట్ అనౌన్స్మెంట్ that uh, let us have our class half an hour before from next friday 7:30 any problems for anybody no maharaj we can continue yeah <clears throat> so our govind maharaj ji one back so maybe it will convenient for him let us see that's all prabhu thank you very much for a nice class yeah we try to be humble by your blessings maharaj <laughs> please add uh, some at least some some words please add on this no uh, uh, word this smelling the prasada is very interesting <laughs> uh-huh. we cook nice feast and just only smell <laughs> <laughs> just to check whether we are cooking for the lord or we are cooking for ourselves sometimes we can just prepare nice feast and only just smell not <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah if that could happen then so many troubles wouldn't have happened you know so many bodily disease and this uh, uh, anger going out of control because of hunger so many things would be controlled <laughs> because of this hunger and uh, yeah this prasadam is uh, especially mentioned here very few, few places it is mentioned uh Uh, exclusively about offering the food to the lord and then accepting right in bhagavad gita bhagavatam bagavad gita krishna speaks indirectly agni santashtino santa vichante sarva kilvishay <clears throat> so there he is in the word agna food offered uh, in the agna something like that but here it is very very clearly mentioned about offering the food to the lord <clears throat> and accepting the remnants so this is a nice reference loka for us because in bhagavatam of course in 10th canto it will be there i guess in godan uh, leela and others but before that a few places we see i think the food offered to the lord so this is one nice place that food to be offered to the lord and you should also offer water to wash their hands and mouths <laughs> it is not a ceremony that we just do and then hare <laughs> krishna <laughs> so it is a lot actually it's the prasad or actually it's the food offer that's why this offering the water to wash hands and mouth are given so it is very very real it is not just ceremony that we pass it through the lord check post and uh, lord actually eats so the upanishad says he walks doesn't walk eats doesn't eat so this is how krishna the lord eats at the same time he doesn't eat he eats because he fully eat it but he doesn't eat because he leaves everything back right that is a uh, <clears throat> Uh, what he called the supreme brahma or the god <clears throat> all the contradictions or maharaj is not available today that uh, uh, all the contradictions which are mentioned in the upanishads they are all not uh, poetic they are actually true and uh, they are all resolved in the personality of god that krishna <clears throat> vishnu so the prashad is a wonderful example how lord eats and also doesn't eat so we are offering water to wash his mouth and hands so without eating why would scripture say offer the water he is eating but the same everything is in the plate so that is very very wonderful achintya gunaswarupam 
inconceivably mesmerizing beautiful qualities of the lord so that the lord is their relation their hearts so that's all probably really a couple of things came to my mind thank you <clears throat> hare krishna thank you very much you took class on short notice or you are informed earlier yeah yesterday yeah he uh-huh. told me four days back also and yesterday also yeah. again he confirm confirm good. good thank you prabhu hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna is uh, if anyone is having any question regarding today's class they can raise their hand and ask his grace sham kishor prabhu ji i think nobody has any doubt or any <laughs> any question yeah yeah probably. so if anybody doesn't have any question or comment and i would like to just say some more few words because still there is time so maybe another 3 4 minutes i would like to say something on this uh, today's shloka if uh, yeah yeah our so thing is here the the worship of lord lakshmi narayan no he said here means how one grihastha should worship at home so generally in this uh, material world because we are not that much uh, because we are not that much qualified or we are not so pure and uh, in the proper perspective as to worship the lord you now in his topmost form as radha krishna so the lord uh, compensating or uh, um the allows the devotee to worship uh to worship him as lakshmi narayan as except um, as um, you know reciting the home in the form of lakshmi narayan so generally uh, grihastha worships the lord in the form of lakshmi narayan with uh, all and reverence and also with all the paraphernalia whatever the mentioned according to the vidhi so the lord accepts in the form you know, as lakshmi narayan or jagannath baladev subhadra or as a communicant incarnation as chaitanya mahaprabhu and nityananda prabhu the chaitanya mahaprabhu is himself radha and krishna both are there so in that form also he accepts you know, as a communicant incarnation he accepts the the service of the living entity and um, that way the slowly the living entity the human being or the devotee he advances gradually by worshiping and by serving the lord in uh, different uh, activities throughout the day the male and the female both doing different activities uh, throughout the day so this uh, process or this uh, this activity is uh, is not uh, some Mm, is not a theoretical only it's very practical so one can know or um, understand or engage himself by approaching the spiritual master by taking shelter of the spiritual master and the spiritual master accordingly in the position is situated you know the person because different persons in their home maybe situated in different occupation or different situations the spiritual master he practically guides the person how he should you know through his occupation how he can engage in the service of the lord so that is very practical you know like uh, uh, like the students because ours is a preaching institute for the academically um, um academically pursuing people so the students those who are engaged with us those who are associated with us 
you know they are also engaged according to their skills according to their abilities if somebody may be a computer engineer somebody may be a uh, uh, in uh, aerodynamics or some maybe a chemical engineering metallurgical engineer different uh, ability and uh, his uh, natural skills the the authority you know the they engage him in that uh, particular field so in that way he also gets the mercy of the lord by doing the activity and uh, also he gets satisfaction by engaging in the service of the lord through skills and um, that way that way the transaction between the lord and the living entity it happens it's not a transaction transaction may be a material world word but it is the reciprocation which takes place between the lord and the living entity so hari krishna i would like to end here so sanatan goswami prabhu yeah thank you roji thank you so you can conclude so one, one more time you can announce if somebody might have joined late or some to mab tomorrow's class class tomorrow's class and from tomorrow onwards i think it is from next friday so oh, from next friday okay mm-hmm. okay yes okay so yeah. jay shrimad ha our, our class will be from 7:30 to 8:30 from next friday onwards from next friday okay so tomorrow you can also put a text uh, in the during yeah. the class so yeah sure can... probably so okay so here we end our today's reading of bhagavatam jay granthraj shrimad bhagavatam ki jay jay samasta bhakt vrind ki jay 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 shri vakrashwar pandit ki jay 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 shri hera panchmi ki jay jay shri krish sham kishor prabhu ki jay yeah thank you thank you all for joining see you all in tomorrow's class hari krishna